This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. What's your name, ma'am? Stacy. Oh, Stacy. What do you do for a living, Stacy? I work for a Christian publishing company. If there's one thing I can't stand. <laughs> Listen up, slap nuts. Sit down, dummy, I'm talking. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. Oh, Wendy. You fat! You f***ing ah. numpty! Will you laugh at that ah. face? Shut your mouth. The cream of the crop! But he does it better. Hey, hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the WrestleCast, presented by RBT Entertainment on the BrookenInfinite.com, BottomMag.com, iTunes, and wherever else we find this fine audio recording and live on RBT Entertainment's Twitch.tv channel. We talk about professional wrestling, both in the mainstream and the independent scene. My name is Matty J. That's TWK over there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am TW, we have TW here views, and I am here once again to entertain you for the next however long we are live, because why not, let's do it, let's talk about the grappling goodness. Ah. You're hype. Yeah, I'm right. to, there's a lot to be hyped this week, as a matter of fact, especially in the last 24 hours. A lot of stuff happened this week. Mm. Elite! 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 Super Kick Party! Super, ki- Super Kick! Super Kick! I-, I could do that. I could-, I could do a... Okay, I can't even do a good Steve Perino impression. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to get at here. Otherwise, it was uh, it was a week. It was a... Things happened! Things happened! And people... People, people made things and, and stuff and things. People made money. And I almost goofed up in the Twitter department again because I forgot to remove the thing. But Hairball, you can follow Hairball in the, he's in the chat. Say hi. Say hi, Hairball. <laughs> hi, Hairball. Anyway, so stuff happened. We're talking, we're going to talk about it. And yes, my name is Matty J. Are you sure? Yes. It's been Matty J for almost 10 pissing years, at least on this show. It's been that for, what, 15 almost? Radio days. College radio days. Stuff and things. Anyway, we got news, and uh, we have a third segment talking about another paper, but not WWE, uh, thank God. Uh, We're talking about New Japan. They got uh, their second... Of two Japan centric or Japan centered new beginnings, and the main event is the big one for the IWGB title. We'll talk about that and whatever build up there was, and there was some build up and all of that stuff. But uh, that's our third time, of course. Your emails and comments, your winners and losers, and there's a noise. There's a noise. Did I lose you. No, I'm still here. What is going on? Oh, I disconnected. What disconnected? I disconnected. From the stream? Yeah, from the stream. We disconnected temporarily. Oh, we're good now, though? Uh, Give me a minute. <laughs> I don't Hello! Know. Can you hear me? We're not streaming right now. Well, fuck doodles. We're recording. But we are not streaming. And we are trying to reconnect again. Son of a Jim Cornette. So I was hearing a noise. I'm like, okay, that's a weird noise. And I go over here and I was like, uh huh. Are you going to have to tell me that I'm going to have to. Oh, no, hey. Hey, we're alive again? Hey, all right. Yes. We okay. are live, ladies and gentlemen. Live, and now, ladies Maddie and gentlemen, Jay. there will be at least two minutes of me worrying that we're live. 
and there was a noise, and then we stopped talking, and then we, we, we were attempting to reconnect twice. Okay, moving on. Uh, so, stuff happened. We're here to talk about it. Uh, we already did the, the spiel about the, 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 the what's going on. Let's just talk about Clip of the Week. Now, originally, the Clip of the Week was going to be uh, 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 coming from the uh, from the worldwide world of NXT television. And that's not the case. Uh, that has been bumped bumped up, if you will. For something happened in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the shadow of the MGM Grand Casino and Resort gimmick thing, to wit, the internet wrestling community blew the fuck up again. Who is to blame for this blow up, ladies and gentlemen? Kenny, no, actually, Kenneth Jerome Omega. Take a listen. You know, first and foremost, I must apologize. I made you guys wait an, an incredibly long time for me to make this announcement. And trust me, it was never my intention. It's just so strange the way the world works with legalities and all that. But rest assured, I didn't put pen to paper until this morning. But I'm... But I am very happy and excited to announce that yes, I am, I have found my phone and oh yes. Uh, stop the thing, stop I am the now, thing. What the hell, evil reverend, we're playing the clip of the week and you're, you just subscribe again. <laughs> and the thing played over. Uh, we're gonna try that again. Thank you to Evil Robert for uh, subscribing for eight months on Tier One. Thank you very much, friends. Nobody, nobody was pushed in the pool. That is very true. Uh, we're gonna restart that clip of the week because we gotta be clean for you. So well, we're gonna hit that again. But then again, it's Kenny Omega on the U.S. soil. Take a listen again. You know, first and foremost, I must apologize. <laughs> I made you guys wait an, an incredibly long time for me to make this announcement. And trust me, it was never my intention. It's just so strange the way the world works with legalities and all that. But rest assured, I didn't put pen to paper until this morning. But I'm... But I am very happy and excited to announce that yes, I am, I have found my phone, and oh yes, I am now a full-time member of the AEW roster. In 2016, myself, Nick and Matt, we set out on a path. We set out on a course to change the world of wrestling. We called ourselves the elite. We did everything in our power to give back to the wrestling world and to give back to you incredible fans. That journey is never ending. And, but that journey, the journey itself, had to come to an end in Japan. The world is a big place. So here we are at Las Vegas in the frigid cold. Again, I apologize for that. My Canadian jeans are, are taking to it nicely, however. But now with the platform that we've been given by the Khan family, but most importantly, the platform that we have been given by each and every one of you people that wanted something more, that wanted something different. We couldn't just stop at where we had been. We need to push this thing forward and we need to make this thing bigger and better than ever before. In various interviews, people have asked me, Kenny, what does it mean when you say change the world? I've tried to explain it in words and I couldn't quite do it eloquently. But I always felt the meaning in my heart. And when I was at All In last year, 
I saw that you guys understood at that moment too what change the world really means. And I wanted more of that. And I thought to myself, why can't it be this way all of the time? Well, guess what, everyone? Now it can. So rather than trying to explain what change the world means in words, the cast and crew of All Elite Wrestling will finally be able to show you just how we will change the world. Postcard production editing later, and I'll have that fixed up. Uh, if you missed it, kudos and a big thank you to the Evil Reverend for subscribing once again to our channel. Uh, you have to tier one sub. We thank you, we appreciate the NBA support as per usual, despite what Tito tells you in the chat. Yeah, Kenny Omega, AEW. I think we should start with that. Uh, with sure. that one thing to note is that he no longer uh, will be using his Devil Sky theme. So we're using the 8-bit version, but he is that's a that's a new Japan theme, so he came out to the uh never say what is the song title, but it's the uh, Mr. Macy, Mr. Massey, Papa Buck. No, it's not his song, it's a it's a cover. Uh, ah. It's a cover of Warrior's Cry. I can't remember who did it, but uh that was done by some fans, and since then the young bucks have started using it in some of their videos, and I guess since they don't have didn't quite have the time to you know, make something for Kenny Omega on the spot. They use that instead, anyways. Uh, when it comes to AEW, uh, they made following announcements this week. When it comes to their this roster, is, uh, let's talk. Let's let's take care of the ticket stuff. I have the list up here as well. Uh, they they've announced their advanced tickets. If you go to alleatewrestling dot com, uh, you you put your email in. You're gonna get a code on Monday, and you're gonna find out that the fucking things could sold sell sold out again. So they're going for at least twelve thousand codes. They're going to fill out that MGM Grand. That is guaranteed. Now, to the list of people, uh, chronologically, uh, we should start with the one that was revealed on the uh, on the Road to Double or Nothing video, and to which, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Havoc. That's Sir James Thaddeus Havoc, the third Esquire to you, peasant! We will call him Jimmy Havoc because it's shorter. But as you can tell with T Dub, he and he is very excited, and I am I am I am happy. That was a good pick, good pickup. Jimmy Havoc is good, as you can tell with T Dub. He's very he's very good indeed. Everyone's going to die. Yeah. I I feel what's uh what what is what is Joey Janela gonna do? Fight Jimmy Havoc. Oh, God, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. No. Acid Rainmakers for everyone. Definitely not fighting Jimmy Havoc. And yes, that was a joke uh, from being the elite. If you're laughing, great. If you're not, shame. Shame. So, yeah, I'm super excited. He is a very talented wrestler. And one thing I liked how they brought up in that video was the fact they know that, even though he's known for his hardcore wrestling, is also quite a good technical wrestler as well. And we've both we've seen both his hardcore stuff, and I've seen at least one or two matches with his technical stuff. He good, folks. He good. And from the promo, this guy could be a solid heel for, for you when you need it. When you need it. He can play both a heel and a face. He's played yeah. both very well. This is a solid pickup, but I wanted to start with him because he kind of got overshadowed by everybody else that got signed up. And well, I he had a good twenty. He had a good twenty-four hours to himself. Yeah, it's very true. But you know, with all the news coming from the rally, from the ticket party, from the pool party, from a pool that was barely used, from never you well barely used if you count that that T-shirt fro botch. Whoops. But uh, <laughs> the people that were announced, everything that was announced, here's, here's uh, the, 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 the bodies are going to be filling up that ring, so to speak. They started with Sonny Kiss. They A.K.A. the former Exolicious. From Lucha Underground. Great pickup. Good manager. Great wrestler. Love the gimmick. 
they are announced a, uh, a partnership with the uh, AAA promotion, so that's going to ruffle some political fetters down the line. But that did uh, they did announce Sammy Guevara. I have not seen some Sammy Guevara matches. I've heard stuff. I've seen a few of his matches from Wrestle Circus. He is fucking good. All right. Uh, they announced uh, Trent Barretta and Chuck Taylor to uh, to uh, to the not the light of uh, New Japan. Apparently, uh, according to some people, including Big Dave Meltzer, uh, New Japan kind of kind kind of upset with Barretta Barretta signing with AEW there. Yeah, well, Brett has been one of their stars in the making for the past few years. I mean, they built him all the way from being a part of a junior tag team and then a heavyweight tag team. And I guess they're maybe going to do some major stuff with them in the future. So I don't blame them for being a little upset over so, this. And they're kind of getting the. Can't say I blame, I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying they're, they're, it's, it's worth noting. Yeah, and, no, most uh, definitely. Chucky e. T on a major wrestling promotion. Good for him. Yeah, it's been a long time coming for Chuck Taylor. He... I hope this works out because he fucking deserves a good, a, a big wrestling company with, with his body on the TV all the time. That's one of the things I do love about AEW. And when you look at when we get to the wrestler signings, a lot of these people are people that uh, have been around either for a while or just need that little extra oomph to get them that TV time because it's a good mix of yeah, we know you know about these guys, but uh, but uh, and other people who. You may have heard of or may not have heard. Of. It's a good mix of good names and names just to, names to be made. As you will see with the next one. And Evil Reverend, this may give New Japan to keep an eye. May, this may make New Japan keep an eye on AEW. See why he's uh, why it's so tempting to talent. It could force a partnership, but then again, a, a AAA is a is a. Uh, uh, competitor to CMLL, CMLL has a partnership with New Japan and Ring of Honor. It's a big web. Uh, encouraged, aren't you? Thank you. Uh, they, uh, of course, the Young Bucks. They came out. Uh, they, 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 they got a big re- a reaction. They announced. Uh, they kept announcing some tag teams. They announced the tag team of Trent Barretta and, and Chuck uh, Chuckers T. Chuck Taylor. And out came the Lucha Bros, Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix. Penta El Zero M. Penta El Zero M. We'll call him Pentagon Jr. because that, that is the most recognized name, but that will obviously change. Uh, basically what happened it was uh, Ray Phoenix super kick uh, to neck and poor Matt Jackson got a, ate a fucking package pile driver. From who? Well, let me tell you who. Cero Miedo. Yeah. Al. He's fine, though. Last, uh, last time we checked. Is he? All right. Is he done? Yeah. Bullet Club is fine. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brandy came out, and so it was a bit of the cringe because she said not... She still needs to get used to the microphone skill, but she's okay. They uh, they announced uh, two Japanese uh, 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 talents that were not able to come over. Uh, for uh, one of them was uh, Yuka Sakazaki. I've only watched the one or two matches I could find on YouTube. Uh, budding stars a good word. A little rough around the edges, but good. The thumb is up. But uh, here's the name that got me going. Ooh, shit. Aja Kong. Yeah, Aja Kong is definitely one of the legends, and she can still go pretty well for she her age. She can still go. She, she's good. She she can still go. That's going to be very interesting. Also, she is still one of the best heels in the business. Very, also very true. Uh, so that guy, of course, uh, the people that were there, they had uh, smiling Kaylee Ray. Kylie. Kylie. Kylie, Kylie, Kylie Ray Kylie. is a completely different person. She is British. Yeah, Kylie Ray is uh, is a, wore wore a coat and a dress and a thing. She has a smile. She was happy, and Nyla Rose came to the ring. They called her the American Kaiju. And now I have the, this 
image in my head of one day seeing a match between between Nyla Rose, the American Kaiju, taking on Lufisto, the hardcore anime. By the way, uh, Kylie Ray, for those who don't know, is an alumnus of Reality Wrestling and one of the former Diamonds Division champions. There you go. And I can say that from watching her matches there, that she has a good talent. And she's going to be a great baby face for that roster. I mean, with that smile on her face, how could she not be a good baby face? Oh, we'll see. In ring wise, she's not bad. We'll see. Uh, Nyla Rose. Uh, the only thing that they brought up was she was, was tra- she was transgender. They didn't actually bring that up during the press conference itself. It was brought up uh, outside with uh, with people doing the quote unquote research and. I saw like one guy on Twitter pissed off. I was like, "Why are they going with the transgender people?" Why well, was like, "It was like, bitch, wrestling is wrestling." And if she's good enough, and apparently she is, that's why she got signed. So, and by the way, if you're bitching about people being gay, well, what the fuck do you think Sunny Kiss is? Also, Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson. Sonny Deville. Sonny Deville. Big fat duh. Can we just There's agree a lot. that there, if they're I'm good, say this they right belong now. on the TV, be on There's, the basis of they good, and that's it? There is a lot more LGBTQ wrestlers out there than you guys may be aware of. We're just, we're just, I know our bunch is usually very, very transparent. They're very cool with, with the, L, the, LBGT, uh, the LGBTQ plus community. I'm going to get it right, damn it. But Your porky there's always, there's always got to be that one asshole that's going to say, well, the trans people don't belong. There should be a... Shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Wrestling is wrestling. If uh, the, the Bucks and Cody, and now obviously Kenny, if if they think they good, benefit of the doubt. If they think they good and they prove to be good, Cool. Till then, you may shut the fuck up. Who the fuck cares? Also, Darren Young, hairball product brings up. There you go. Darren Young, yeah. Also, one thing about Nyla Rose, I didn't even know she was trans until like I found out about it when I was reading up on her on the internet. I was like, oh, okay, then I actually yeah. couldn't tell. Yeah, the one asshole on Twitter is I like, throwing a shit fit, and I did the, the research after, and I'm like, cool, okay, awesome. Are you good in the ring? Cool. Get also, in during the press conference, uh, we got a challenge for SCU versus OWE. Yeah, OWE, they talked about it. SCU said, uh, hey, uh, this is the worst town I've ever been in. Also, a uh, tag match? And, and you know, OWE just... and SEMA said, tag match. And here are the matches that we seem to have you know either announced or very very Uh-oh. close to being announced we have we're we dropping frames again yeah we are if it's only a few frames it's n- they're not going to notice yeah I... why are we fucking red right now servers baby sometimes servers they are suck being dicks right now all right so you're obviously listening to this uh post recorded so we apologize if everything is off kilter um, shit being fucked up right now. Uh, should I go over the matches, or are we go still ahead, working go on? Ahead. Uh, we the one, the first one we knew that was going to happen. Hangman Page, uh, he came out, did his, did his promo, and and eventually the uh, Pac showed up and interrupted him, at, him again via satellite. Via satellite, vertical phone too. You, you are a bastard, Pac. <laughs> You are a bastard. <laughs> he's not flipping that phone around just for your convenience. No. He's going to go after your, your mind. Ooh. Yeah, and of course, obviously, we're going to get uh, Lucha Bros versus the Young Bucks. That's, that's true. That's going to be good stuff. Uh, SU versus OWE, we just talked about that. Um, yeah, the, two, uh, the two opponents uh, to be, uh, obviously, to be... Determined, but that is also a thing. 
we're probably also going to be seeing Kylie Ray versus uh, Nyla Rose. Uh, though, though that is, we should mention that is to be ter- determined in that case. Yes, although that sort of confrontation they had usually leads to a match. Usually. Usually. And I, I love, like, Pac is like, I'm to see you. I hope you bring your cowboy boost because you're going to be walking off to the sunset. See you there, cowboy. And, of course, after the promo, I was like, it's funny. He's uh, he's, he's he's using his phone from the – he's his home, so he's via satellite, so he's doing what he does bet, best, sitting around at home. Boom! Good rebuttal then, by the hangman. And then he says that he's going to bring his cowboy boots <laughs> – and they're going to need somebody knighted from England in order to get them out of Neville's ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So apparently the Twitch servers are being a dick tonight. Uh, can everybody hear me? Say hi, everybody. Uh, trying that again. Okay, so as last we left off, we were talking about Hangman Page and the great promo. They announced uh, they, Kaylee, Kylie Ray and uh, Nyla. Uh, they haven't announced. They, they are teasing Kylie Ray versus Nyla Rose eventually. Uh, we were talking about Hangman Page and Palk. Yep. And, uh, and of course... What one of the main matches is going to be the epic Wrestle Kingdom rematch between Sir Kent Jerome Omega and Christopher Jonathan Jericho. Yeah, so main event time, they, 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 they Alex Marvez and uh, Conrad Turkey Tits Thompson. Hi, MJF. How are you? And uh, they, they announced that uh, we have more surprises. And, of course, they cut to that clip of that famous phone clock counting to zero. And... Uh, no New Japan theme for 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 uh, Kenny Omega. He came out to Warriors Cry a cover, and uh, he is all elite. And they uh, in the lower third when they did the nameplate thing, they announced him as an EVP. Executive so now vice that president. now the executive vice president triangle has become a square. Next thing you're tell me that circle, that square, that's uh, that circle is that square is a circle. But it's hip to be square, at least. Ah, very true. Very true. All right, I'm gonna. People will talk in there. We lose servers. <laughs> I'm not to refresh that that uh, that thing. So we're gonna lose this for a little while. Say hi in the chat, by the way, if you see us. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, Kenny Omega cuts the promo. If you can hear Matty J, be sure to call him a numpty. Actually, let's, 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 let's start with that. Numpty. Where's, where's, where's Marty's girl stuck in Ring of Honor? No, uh, Kenny Omega, he now says he's going to be. Oh, there we go. Neo Space Ace can help. See us? Wow, cool to see Space Ace in the chat. Hey, Space Ace. (laughs) Numpty. (laughs) <laughs> anyway hi spade ace how are you um oh yeah kenny omega he says we're gonna change the world and chris jericho's song hits judas and he's not wearing a suit he's in gimmick leather 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 jacket the fuck you up hat he was not there to be hype jericho he was, he was there to be new japan pissed off chris jericho and they got into a scuffle rather quickly. Very quickly. The, some of the talent was like, you could see uh, Chris Daniels in the background saying, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, get, back to, get back down. Back down. And brawl. Brawl. All of the brawl. And Kenny stole his hat. Goodbye and good night. Bang! Hat flies off. Thought that was cool. That looks good. That looks good. Look, look good. You look good. <laughs> that, was a, you, uh, no, that was overall a pretty good crowd when it came to their chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so definitely a more uh, eventful event than the previous uh, sort of press thing they did in well, Jacksonville. We know a whole hell of a lot more than we uh, we uh, we expected. Uh, that is for very sure. Uh 
what we do know, we have a little bit, we have filled up the roster a little bit more. Uh, the tickets will be on sale and sell out inside of, who's calling out? Over under 30 minutes. Over under 30 minutes. Anybody? I'm calling Yeah, it's probably going to be 30 minutes again. It's going to be 30 minutes. I know you know, people gets... go, they should have gone for a bigger building. Uh, technically speaking, the MGM Grand is a bigger building as far as uh, attendance. So they they, they 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 listened. They actually did listen. Hopefully Mom almost gets tickets this time because she does live closer to Las Vegas than she does yeah. Chicago, I think. Yeah, I will say this for a lot of people wondering, hey, Maddie, aren't you thinking of going? I was till uh, I realized I'd RSVP'd to a wedding literally two days before the rally. Uh, you know, you I can didn't bike know. it. I didn't know. Is, is the wedding in Canada? The wedding is in Canada. It's actually here in Canada. Oh, fuck. There's no way you could bike your way there in There's two days. There's no way in hell. I would, I could, I could, or I could Uber it. That would not help. No. Yes, yeah, so you can Uber your way from Canada to the United States. In 20 hours, the paper would be over anyway. Not if you give them extra money to make it there in time. Then I have and to speed. Pay all, the, to... all the speed tickets. It'll be worth it, Maddie. Hey, Reverend, I can tell you right now, it's not. It wasn't working on our end either, so don't worry too much about it. But <laughs> yeah, it's not just you. It's 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 the servers. We had, we had to re. I had to restart the stream. That's how hard it we, we it, it it derped. Seemed to be working better this time around. So that is good. Also, uh, space when it comes to the matches, we were just talking about a few of those earlier, and the card's looking pretty good so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, they have Pac, the former Neville, taking on Hangman Page. They have, they're obviously setting up Omega versus Jericho too. Young Bucks versus the Lucha Bros, Pentagon and uh, Pentagon Junior and uh, and Ray Phoenix. Uh, Nyla Rose versus uh, versus uh, Kylie Ray. I'm telling you, that card's not looking too bad right now. Yeah, and there's all sorts of talent that haven't been assigned matches yet. Like Jimmy Havoc, Sonny Kiss, The Best Friends, Aja Wait. Kong. Yeah, Aja Kong. Yeah, that's... What is she... I could see Aja Kong versus uh, versus Nyla Rose now. Uh, Yeah, two heavyweights. <laughs> the two heavyweights of the women's division. I guess that could work. It could work. But the thing is, they're both heels. Oh, fuck, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> down the line. Down the line. That's what we're looking forward to. <laughs> right. Anyways, uh, so that was AEW moving on uh, through our news. Yeah. Uh, let's see. NXT halftime heat happened. And uh, way better than the entire Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, the match itself was just a little over 16 minutes, and it was far better than the multi-hour Super Bowl. 10 to 3. I feel so bad for my family. Mm. Oh, Neo Spade Ace. I know it won't, but I, Lord, I hope it doesn't lose steam like the fight wrestling did. They're still, they're still going. Yeah, they're still yeah, going. They may, they may not exactly have the hype factor behind them that they originally did, but they are still going. They have their yeah, viewership. I was wondering, Defiant Wrestling is the former what culture wrestling, but to be fair, they to be fair, they lost a lot of talent because of the UK, the, the uh, WWE UK talent purge, but that was unfortunately to be expected. Uh, but no, they still have some great matches. I, I actually watched a card from them... Uh, a uh, few a uh, uh, few weeks ago, and that wasn't a bad that wasn't a bad show. Um, also, I think the difference between uh, Defiant and AEW is the fact that AEW has that billionaire money behind them to give them that constant level of hype that they'll need. Yeah, that, and they also have you know the elite, the elite hottest property in wrestling right now. They have technically the hot hand. Yeah. Anyways, Matty, what did you think of Halftime Heat, the match overall? The match overall was awesome. Uh, it was literally a great hits of uh, it, it a six-man tag, as advertised. Uh, people were saying that was uh, Jeremy Borash. That sounded like Greg Hamilton uh, at, the, at, the, at the ring announcer position there. It was Greg Hamilton. 
It was Greg Hamill. A lot of people are saying that was uh, that was uh, Joey uh, Jer Jeremy Barash. Like, hey, yeah, we would know if it was Jeremy Barash. But it was nice to hear uh, Greg Hamilton doing the call for the NXT match again. Hearing, uh, of course, referee was Jessica Carr, play by play with Vic Joseph, and color commentary by Shawn Michaels, who put over the talent something fierce. He is one hundred percent behind them. He is 100% behind him. And uh, beside the fact that someone in the audio department needs to get a fucking Dave, uh, he was he was good. Quiet, but I blame the, the audio department for that. But uh, he was good. I, I I think his commentary was okay. Better than his uh, early 90s uh, efforts, if you know what I mean. Soon to be better at doing this commentary than he did at being a pre-show analyst. That is very true. <laughs> so as you said, this is just uh, all six guys, Alistair Black, Ricochet, and Velveteen Dream versus Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa, and Johnny Gargano, just all of them just going balls to the wall, hitting all their high spots move, trying to, you know, get that sort of, I guess, uh, trying to impress all the mainstream people coming in, and this is the most watched NXT match of all time now. It is, and with good reason, and you know what, if there's any match that deserves that distinction, that was a great match. Also, did you notice that they, uh, because they were in the Performance Center, the audience was made up of Performance Center signees? By the way, Adam Cole properly booed as a heel. You could tell. It was like, oh, natural heat. I well, missed this. Well, it wasn't an actual wrestling crowd. As I said it was a uh, crowd full. It was a uh, crowd of performance, uh, performance fans, center family members and, uh, and just regular people. But, bay, bay sucks. Bay, bay, suck it and oh, I'm a proper heel. This is nice. Yeah, some of the people in the crowd include the great black otaku, Tegan Knox, yep. and uh, Dakota Kai, yep. I think. So this was literally a Super Bowl party, and they said, hey, let's just throw a, throw a network special in there while we're at it. I liked the aesthetic of, of uh, matches happening at the Performance Center. Yeah, it was nice. It was like a lower rent NXT style. Yeah, lower rent it was obviously the lighting wasn't as good because of the you know they was obviously they uh, they were thinking hey let's just do a special for no fucking reason. Yeah, and the NXT arena uh, that they use they have a full lighting rig and everything because it's like a little production studio. Whereas this is literally just a gym. It's a gym, but they they have the proper facilities to rehearse these things and everything else outside of full sale. So at the very least, they had that and it was properly lit. Everything looked good. The ramp looked like a proper ramp. Everything cool. And you also notice that during the entrances, they got through them a lot quicker than usual because they knew, like, okay, we're against the clock. Let's get to this. They basically entered, and, you know, it, it, they, the entrances were, uh, you know, the entrance ramps was obviously shorter as well. That definitely helps. Yeah, and also, like, they ended the entrance music a lot sooner, too. Like, as soon as the wrestler gets the ring, boom, gets to the next entrance. Because they were working against the clock and Adam Levine, but they didn't have to work too fucking hard. Uh, you know, obviously, Spade Ace and I, we were uh, doing the Toka Rips, and actually, funny enough, we entered our halftime, just about uh, our halftime intermission show, which was our Toku, uh, Toku Memes Live, just about the same time. So, our halftime uh, fuck around was WWE's halftime fuck around, and incidentally, both those shows were better than the fucking Super Bowl. Let me see if they actually archived the halftime meet show on YouTube. Because that would did. be great if they did. I believe they did. They did. I believe I have it in my watch later uh, playlist. Let's see. Halftime heat. Yep. Full match. Halftime heat. Currently seeing at 340,000 views. Not, not too bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was some good stuff. Um. When it comes to wrestling news, that makes me both happy and sad. Chris Wolf. Oh, God. So, uh, Solomonster, a little breaking news on Twitter. Uh, what? He, he retweeted something by uh, Heal by Nature. I believe it was a uh, advertisement for a local house show on the, uh, February 22nd. And they advertised Nia Jax versus Dean Ambrose as one of the advertised matches. Solid Monster, uh, famed, famed podcast gentleman for his uh, wrestling talk and taking down of trolls on Twitter and uh, stuff and things. Quote, Nia punches Dean in the face and injures him, allowing WWE to freeze his contract and stop him from leaving. 
Fitz really is a genius. He can't leave if he can't walk. If his jaw, if his jaw is sewn shut, he can't leave. God damn it, Buck, that shit. Keep him out of them fucking elite young Buck fucks. And they're going to test the bars with that uh, eventually. Hmm. Anyways, getting on to what I was going to talk about. Uh, Chris Wolf. Yeah. Uh, Chris good Wolf. news and bad news with her. Uh, the good news, last week she got married. Yay! And then this past Monday, uh, she announced that after her current U.S. tour, she will be retiring from pro wrestling due to mm. symptoms stemming from concussions. Oh, that's a bummer. It is, because she, she is a was, great talent. She was primarily known if, through the Japanese circles for the most part. She made her name in Japan. Yeah, for uh, uh, the stardom promotion. Mm -hmm. Being a part of Oedo Tai. Yep, yep. Was uh, their, one of their top stables. And they have a really cool dancing entrance. So if you haven't seen it, go look that up. It's really cool. And uh, Chris Wolf, a very solid in-ring wrestler. And one of my favorite promos. Absolute. She just yeah. cut some of my favorite stuff. There was one about eating people because she's a wolf. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of those about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's another one where uh, one of her friends brought her in to do a rap. And she bit Chris Wolf being Chris Wolf made it about fisting. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, have we mentioned that this is a, this is a eighteen plus show? Sometimes <laughs> that we have that little disclaimer for a reason. Also, Chris Wolf is a very much eighteen plus promo. Yes, yes, she indeed is. She, she is. She is a Japanese wrestler. Or, or a, 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 a foreign wrestler in Japan, I should say, to the nth degree, f bombs and all. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna miss her presence because she was just everything about her is just so fucking positive, and she's just so adorable and just. Mm, why do you have to leave us, Chris? You're hurting my feels. You're like, tearing me. You're tearing him apart, Chris Wolf. Nevertheless, uh, I am glad she's going to be taking care of herself. Yeah, because. It's good that she's catching this earlier on, and she talked about this in her stream where she announced this, that this if she didn't, this could lead to some terrible uh, mental defects down the line. She's smart enough to realize, I don't, want to, I don't want to get dementia at 40. Yeah, that's definitely the best. You know, and, and, you know whether we like to say it or not, that's pretty much what Chris Benoit had. Uh, yeah, more or less, along with some other issues that compounded that. Yeah. Nevertheless, um, I'm very happy for Chris Wolf for getting out while she's healthy and hope that her and her partner have a very loving and long-lasting relationship and that she finds some sort of happiness in life outside of being a wrestler. Maybe a manager down the line? Uh, maybe. 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 It's an idea. Uh, Simply an idea. <laughs> let's see. Next up on my list, we have New Japan New Beginnings. I only watched the second night. Personally, uh, and some of the highlights include Tama Tonga trying to be a good guy, much to his teammate's chagrin, even uh, at one point being forcefully clotheslined into someone. Like they had one of the guys in the corner, and Tonga Loa literally Irish him from one corner to the other. And when this happened, Tama Tonga left out the girliest scream I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it was great. It's phenomenal. I love it. Like Tama Tonga is just so against cheating now. He's like, no, don't make me do it now. It's like, he's still a heel. But god damn, I love that new twist. He's trying to be a good guy because he is the good guy. And he's trying to convert all his other teammates. And I have a very bad feeling he's going to get kicked out of Bullet Club soon. I don't want to see that. No, no, he can't. I'm like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Bad luck, Folly. Fuck him, Spike. No, you can't tell. He's one of the OGs. He's been there for almost ever. <laughs> uh, you know what this this is going to turn into a big fucking twist that's going to wind up putting the belt on either Jay White or Tama Tonga and I'm happy or maybe not necessarily happy I'm intrigued I, I am intrigued let's put it that way uh, let's see uh, also uh, 
Los Ingobernables de Japón just absolutely annihilated Suzuki Goon in every title match against uh, for the junior heavyweight tag titles, heavyweight tag titles, and the IC title match. All were won by Lij, and they were all against Suzuki Goon. And Minoru Suzuki is just stretching the shit of that one poor lo- young lion because, God damn it, no witnesses. Also, uh, he's got to do it because it clearly can't be his fault. It's that young lion's fault, clearly. <laughs> also, in the main event, uh, the way it started was so Naito's making his way to the ring. Tai Chi was waiting in the ring for him, and then Izuka came up from behind and just absolutely battered him with a ladder. And then Tai Chi hit his finisher on him on this on the ramp, and then they took uh, Naito backstage. And then for like ten minutes, Tai Chi was fucking up, fucking around the ring, just walking around with the belly. Yeah, I'm the champion. He kept on walking around ringside, jaw jacking to all the fans, to the commentators, talking about how he's the champion now. And then finally, Naito slowly made his way to the ring with uh, Bushi's help. Yeah. Once again, I, I said Bushi, not Ibushi. Want to make that clear? I'm pretty sure Ibushi the is not new to Japan now. Mask. Just so you know. Yep. Yep, just make things 100% clear. Yep. He knights into the ring. And then after, like, a really, really good, like, 20-minute match, it felt like, yeah, uh, Naito, Naito won. And at one point, Naito actually pile drove Tai Chi through a table. Because if my neck, if you're going to fuck up my neck, I'm going to fuck up yours. Yep, 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 pretty much, yep. And in the end, Naito was just able to get that victory. And... I think this also helped make Tai Chi look like a bigger star because he did kick out of a Destino, which looked good. And it really just is one of Tai Chi's better matches. It's not so, saying much because he does not. He, he's, his, uh, his uh, good match to bad match ratio can be a little skewed on the bad side. But this is one of the good ones. I can agree with that. So good things are in the future for Tai Chi if he keeps up this sort of quality. If he could, if he could keep uh, have a constant uh, ratio, he's definitely going to enter the G one climax. Probably as the, like the one guy you want to test out. I'm assuming. Yeah, especially if since could, last if year. If he could keep um, up that amount of quality in that in that run this year, he's 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 gonna he's gonna have a legit singles belt around his waist. Especially since last year. Um, Apparently, there were Japanese audiences that were wondering why Tai Chi wasn't in the G1, but Yoshihashi was. Yeah, and uh, Yoshihashi is a bit, uh, sadly has been on the downturn in the quality department, unfortunately. Also, unlike Yoshihashi, Tai Chi has been good enough to actually get championships. It's kind of weird yeah. that Yoshihashi has been wrestling so long, but has never won a single championship or trophy. He's, he's, no, he's, has he? No, he's never won a single thing. He's never won a championship or a trophy. Wow. Ever in his career. That's and, sad. Yeah, I was about to say, your silence says it all. Yeah. I remember look, first looking up, I was just like, not, not I, one? I have, I have to Google this now. No, you can go on to like every page listing championship accomplishments. It's not going to show anything. Uh, I'm I'm too curious. To, uh, curiosity is killing the cat here. Oh, he has one champ, one accomplishment. He was ranked 177 in PWA 500 in 2018. That's it. Yeah, that's what I see in the wiki, and that's it. And he has a uh, he has a win in for the uh, uh, lucha de puestas match. No, he lost. Oh, he lost. Yeah, Roosh beat him. Oh yeah. So it's right there. Roosh defeated Yoshihashi. And he's in Ring of Honor. So have fun with that, folks. <laughs> yeah, his one accomplished number one seventy seven in twenty eighteen. So and uh, one, Yoshi he is one of the top 500 wrestlers in the world. And he made his debut in 2008, so he's been wrestling for 10 and a half years. Yeah. And not a single championship. That's just so bizarre. That I've never heard sad. of that before. I've never heard of that before. Somebody wrestling for over 10 years and not a single championship or any sort of meaningful accomplishment as far as any sort of trophy, no title. No, not, even no, tag, not, even a, not even a never open weight six-man tag. Everyone's had one of those by now. <laughs> well, not everyone, but you get the idea. 
Yes. Now I just feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. Yeah. That and he's always the fall guy in all his tag matches. You know, that doesn't help matters. Oof. Like I said uh, last year, if your name is Yoshi, stay out of New Japan. It will not end well for you. Jesus, yeah, Yoshi. Yoshi Tatsu, Yoshi Hashi. Oh. Getting into something a bit more positive. Yes, let's do that. Impact had another show in Mexico. Uh, we yep. saw a good six-man tag team match. LAX with Daga took on the Lucha Brothers with Toros. And Lucha Brothers and Toros actually got the win. Yay! And afterwards, they challenged LAX to a tile match next week, and they accepted. There you go. Also, uh, we got a rematch between Jordan Grace and Kira Hogan taking on Young and Ali. And as Ali was going to go tag Young in the corner, let's go out, let's go on. Sue Young was replaced by Rosemary once again, and this caused uh, Ali to get distracted and lose once more. And, of course, afterwards, Doran Grace and Kira Hogan were more confused than anything else. Like, okay, we won, but what the fuck was that? Well, that's a good question. I, I don't have an answer for you on that one. I was expecting a response. I thought I lost you for a second. No, 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 you, no, you did not, thankfully. <laughs> and then we got uh, Eddie Edwards and Eli Drig versus Des and Wentz of the Rascals. And... Got some really cool uh, innovative offense by Eli onto Wentz, where he was going for like a power slam, but instead of going forwards, he went backwards. Also, at one point, uh, the Rascal said a Canadian destroyer DDT. Ow. I want to repeat that a Canadian destroyer style DDT. And yes, that's so just as awesome as it sounds. Imagine a flip pile driver turning into a DDT. I've seen this. Uh, it um, That's the best description, actually. And the end of the match has Eli using Kenny, which is Eddie Edwards' cane, to hit one of the rascals and end their undefeated streak. Although Eddie Edwards was unaware of this because he was tied up with the referee. So yeah, even though Eli Drake is 100% against hardcore, he'll still use it if the need arises. Also, we had a Tessa promo challenging Taya Valkyrie to a town match. Taya accepted it with the ad stipulation of it being a street fight, and it will be happening February 15th. And guess what the name of this show is? Valentine's Day Massacre? Nope, Uncaged. Huh. Which, which is ironic because, you know, Impact has forever been famous for the all-cage match shows. Lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a nice little twist on that one. And Reverend, yes, you must now look up this Destroyer style DDT. Oh yeah, it looks pretty rad. And you were having the chat. Keep imagining Rosemary just showing up and saying, Hey, buddy! And Allie just freaks the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, bunny. <laughs> Like, it would be an awesome uh, backstage segment. You know, Alley, Demon Bunny, you know, Demon Alley's going to be like, <sighs> and you can see it, you know, Rosemary just popping in the background, you know, Wikis Vince at WrestleMania 19 with a smile on her, with like, like an evil grin on her face. Uh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Don Callis, if you're listening, book that shit. Speaking of things getting booked, yes, Salabah versus Triple A's top guy, or one of them, Psycho Clown. Ooh. And they did bring up the fact that Psycho Clown was the one who defeated Dr. Wagner Jr. to unmask him. Ah, oh, good call. Was that Callus on the mic doing that? Uh, I think so. Possibly. Uh, let's see. And the crowd, of course, was red hot for Psycho Clown because, of course, they are. And, of course, Psycho Clown won, but he did so using La Maya Straw because, you know, Falaba's big dude, and that's about all you can really feasibly beat him with. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Falaba. Kind of you're, you're, not picking, 
You're not picking him up. No. <laughs> You'll knock him down. You're not picking him picking him up. And of course, main event was Cross and Moose versus Impact and Cage. And after some malfunction at the junction on the team from the team of Impact and Cage, Moose won by pinning Johnny Impact, while uh, Cage just stood there looking really angry. And then, uh, so some more tension between Cage and Impact, and then it almost feels like they're going to be turning Cage heel. He has he has worked well as a heel in the past. That's all I'm going to say there. It's 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 it, a storyline in progress here. This way it is. And uh, Mass just tagged uh, me and Maddie on Twitter. Yeah. And guess we may as well talk about Mr. Eric Bugenhagen. Yeah, a rock star Bugenhagen from uh, from it looks like love it. Yeah. Yeah, he says it's WWE's Joey Ryan, but I'm like, nope, that's their Tanahashi. That's their Tanahashi uh, Diet Coke edition. That, yeah, he kind of is Tanahashi because he comes out there and he does air guitar like Tanahashi. And Tanahashi is going, you knew. Anyways, that is uh, all the news that I have. Uh, all I can tell you right now, AEW, they had their uh, Super Fight main card at the uh, 2300 Arena, the former ECW Arena. Uh, quick, quickly, they had, uh, new, they have new MLW tag team champions and the Hart Foundation, uh, that is Teddy Hart and, uh, Davey Boy Smith Jr. with, uh, Brian Pillman Jr., you know, with that wonderful, wonderful mullet. Uh, the mullet seems to start a comeback because, like, you, like, uh, Hiroshi Tenzan never shaved his. No. Nah. Shingo still has his. Yeah. Now you have Brian Pillman Jr. having one as well. Uh, there's there are only there are a few people on this earth that could pull off a, a mullet successfully. Are you one of them? No. Try it. No. Try it. No. Try it. No. Don't be a bitch. No. No. Anyways. <laughs> As a no, sir. <laughs> Coach so, Brazil uh, took, took on Ricky Martinez. Ricky Martinez won after uh, Celia de la Renta uh, put pepper spray in the uh, non-blind eye because she's a, she's a bitch. They had a promo for Jimmy Havoc, so he'll be working both AEW and MLW. Uh, by the way, the uh, MLW Tag Team Champions before uh, Heart Foundation or the New Found Heart Foundation. The Lucha Brothers. Ah. Okay, so I, I I forgot to mention that. That must have been one hell of a match then. It was a great match. Uh, and in the main event of that particular hour and a half of uh, professional wrestling action, Filthy Tom Waller defeated Loki uh, for the MLW Heavyweight Championship of the World. By the way... Uh, uh, have they mentioned that uh, before that match, Loki was undefeated in uh, MLW? By the way, I don't think they mentioned it enough. Sue they said were that he was this shit every five fucking minutes. Sue so said he was undefeated, and then Shayna Baszler out of nowhere, and then you're all for Ray Ted. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, yeah, but Loki's not undefeated anymore. No more and filthy Tom Waller are champion in wrestling, so definitely hey. not something I would have thought to have heard like five or six years ago. Yeah, but it happened, uh, it happened, uh, it, it well it happened. <laughs> Best way to put it. Uh that's uh that's it. Uh, we we gotta do the thing. Do it. Do the thing, it's time. Get your free emails and comments of the week. You can send them to the WrestleCast at gmail.com. We begin and end, as always, with our good friend. Uh, you know who it is. French! Yay. And hello, Russell Cast. Well, talk about a week of surprises. 
Yes, I saw the AEW press conference, and as you can guess, knocking on uh, on the stiffy, I'm a, I am hard as concrete. To sum up the event, Sonny Kiss joins the company, which is great, but that promo is still, still better than Night Jacks. Nyla Rose, first trans wrestler, joins the part the party and did face off against Kay- uh, Kylie Ray, aka Pokemon Girl. That's who she is. Cool. Uh, Jimmy Havoc will kill people. Yes. <laughs> the sec- second marking out Los Lucha Brothers bones will be broken. Wait, Kenny Omega joins AEW as executive president and, and wrestler. I can't, I can't, and it's an image of, of, uh, of, uh, Randy from South Park. And it was ectoplasm. It was ectoplasm. That. That's it. He needs a smoke break. He says, oh, wait, there's WWE. Let's make this quick. Uh, halftime heat, pretty awesome six-man tag match, and it's cool to see Velveteen Dream getting the, uh, getting the AEW. In other words, Adam Cole brought the Panama City Sunrise, Brett's Rope Destroyer, and it looks sick. Uh, overall, 5 out of 5 match. Raw. So the conference between Becky Lynch and Stephanie. There's some rumors that the two will be square off against SummerSlam in 2019, hence the kerfuffle at the end. Last thing we want to see is Becker's. We see Beckers, who is to babysit a babysit a McMahon. Oh God! <laughs> Evil Reverend, get that Otaku a moist towel and a protein and a proton pack. <laughs> anyway, he says last thing we want to see is Beckers uh, from Beckers babysitting a McMahon. Especially when it's Lady Balls herself. Please don't lose to her or I'll kick you in the in the cooch. She's going to lose, isn't she? Shivers. <laughs> As for the rest, if I can remember, Seth is out until, uh, until he's healthy. Alexa got some boners uh, towards EC3. Uh, never, mind, uh, never mind the fact that she's still with Buddy Murphy. <laughs> never mind the fact that she's with Buddy Murphy. Rhonda killed two thirds of the riot squad. Hug, hug and boss, uh, hug and boss ice cream. I don't know why I thought that. Hug and boss uh, got qualified for the tag tournament, and the tag main event uh, versus Braun Nagel and McIntyre Corbin was there. So pretty much an okay show on my ad. Uh, SmackDown Live since Charlotte shows up, there's a chance that she'll face uh, Becky for the number one contender spot against Rossi. Who's got the feeling I'll turn it into a triple threat? Please don't. Vince, don't. Yep. Rousey versus Lynch. Keep it one on one, damn it. Let's five. make it a fail five way. What about Asuka? She can wrestle. Uh, Tita Sorry, I was distracted by Gary Stride on the guy. The posts are so mesmerizing. Wow. <laughs> what about Asuka? What about Asuka? That would have been the correct answer there. But moving on. Uh, <laughs> uh, anywho, in other news, Ollie got a black guy uh, uh, fakes to Orton. Uh, Joe choked some bitches through the night, and the good bros lost to Rusev having the big knacker. Anderson Gallows, we're going to wait for you to leave the company. Winner is the All Elite Wrestling Press Conference. Consider me sold on watching Double or Nothing, the WWE halfway or uh, halftime heat match. Great level, NXT level match, and it didn't have any problems with HPK on commentary. Didn't see NXT out yet, but Matt Riddle versus Drew Gulak. Shut up and take my money. OSW review being re- uh, featured in the credits of the Marine Six close quarters. Good on you, Noggers. Also, I did see the review, and I could look on the road, and the corpse of Jake Carter is still rolling. Talk about a great finale! <laughs> yeah, rolling, 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 fuck you! Rolling, 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 come on! By the way, I I know that you're not listening to this, but if Jay Hunter is listening to this, dude, that Simpsons joke at the end. Mwah! 
Love that. Uh, let's see. Uh, loser is uh, just the idea of Becky Lynch babysitting Stephanie and Man into a match at WrestleMania 19 or SummerSlam 2019. Excuse me. It's a rumor, but the seeds are there. The injured list in WB, including excluding Becky, who's kayfabe injured. By the way, wrong luck to sell. Uh, there's uh, Akam of AOP, Fondago, Dakota Kai, Sami Zayn, Amber Moon. I didn't screw that name up. <laughs> well, you could call her Sailor Moon. Well, I wouldn't bitch, but, you know. <laughs> uh, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Sasha Banks, who barely got any action on Raw. And Kevin Owens, yes, some of those people are set to return soon. Not many losers here. Well, another news, I finally am going back to the gym and to get in shape. So in need. See you soon, guys, and take care. Awesome. I make a joke of take care of yourself and each other, but I'm not Jerry Springer, obviously. So I will shut the fuck up on that uh, on that regard. And instead say that those were your emails and comments of the week. You can send them at the Russellcast at gmail.com. We shall return, ladies and gentlemen, for the third segment of the week. We're talking more New Japan. Yes. What else are we going to do? It's good wrestling. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsors. Let's go racing! It's Super Mario Kart Funny Car Madness! Only on Super NES! Turn the track into a giant mud pit! Or burn rubber on ice, wood, or asphalt! Fly! Mix it up for the big boys! See Bowser and his big foot chopping truck! See Yoshi's go kart really go! Mushrooms, banana peels, turtle shell! Dino Might! Check your rear view and make a mean test! Or go into battle mode and ruin his day! Two speed! Fast and way too fast! It's two player fun on the split screen! Only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System! Now you're playing with power! Super Power! Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Tired, achy back got you up against the ropes. Ah, what? Yeah. Burning, itchy hemorrhoids making you cry for mummy. Again. Performance anxiety making you feel embarrassed and like less of a man. Ah. Introducing... Elite Cold, Cold Spray. spray. <laughs> the number one cure for dry eye syndrome. Elite Cold Spray. If you order now at youngbucksmerch.com, we will throw in a complimentary can. Elite Cold Spray, the preferred dry eye cure. Oh, oh my god! The, the, oh, oh, the bird! Oh, this product doesn't even work, guys! Oh, like, oh, it, it, it pisses me it, off! It, it, it pisses me off! Who even planned this whole thing? This whole thing. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. This is WMOB Mobile, 12 on your channel dial and 12 in the TV ratings. I am your NXT North American champion, and I am proud to say that Johnny Wrestling is back! Look at you standing in that ring with the NXT North American Championship. Me standing here with the NXT Championship, Johnny. We, we own the world. This is our moment. No, no. There is no our moment. The only reason I came out at the end of TakeOver Phoenix was to show you face to face that Johnny Gargano will never need Tommaso Ciampa. While you guys were putting the finishing touches on your fairy tale ending, the Velveteen Dream was winning the World's Collide Tournament. Now, if you didn't know what that meant, that means that the Dream has earned himself a championship, an NXT championship opportunity of his choosing. And guess who the Dream chooses? The dream wants you. You want to challenge me? 
You want this? You want this? Since you're so preoccupied with yourself all the time, let me remind you of something. While you were busy sitting in the crowd, I was in this ring at TakeOver Phoenix putting on another match of the year. I'm on top of the world right now and I'm feeling a little dangerous. So if you want to use your title opportunity on me, go for it. I win. Maybe, maybe you do win. But I don't think that's the question everybody wants an answer to. The question these people, the question the dream wants an answer to is that when we're standing face to face, when it's one on one, when it's Johnny Gargano versus a Velveteen Dream, will it be Velveteen Dream versus Johnny Champion or will it be Velveteen Dream versus Johnny Jackass? should work a little better. I still, I'm amazed that the Velveteen Dreams theme song has not been, have been video game music yet. Give it time. Yeah, it, it, it'll happen eventually. Someone please do! It's a good theme song. So, uh, uh, yeah, Velveteen Dreams. Welcome back is... to the Russell Cast Army Entertainment production. Uh, Broken of Excuse me, Carbonation. Uh, we're going to find it on to iTunes, podcast, and place twitch.tv slash RBT Entertainment. Match ATWK here with you as per usual. You were saying, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so Velveteen Dream is the new NXT North American champion now. Uh, not yet. He's uh, He hasn't won it yet. Oh, I thought that was... He's won the uh, he's won the uh, World's Collide tournament that happened earlier this week. Oh, I thought that was this week's episode. And this week's episode was uh, him challenging... The North American champion. Ah, oh, my apologies for the spoilers. I believe, I believe that is next week. Uh, the spoiler you just gave. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was this Whoops. week. I don't, I don't get to watch NXT because I'm busy with working on videos and work in general. Really, it, it's a lot of things. Sorry, it is, it is. It was a solid promo, and that was my clip of the week until all the wrestling happened. But still, felt that I did, that needed to be highlighted because it was indeed a good promo segment from all three gentlemen in there. Advancing some stories, if you will. Uh, that being said, we're talking New Japan here. Uh, we're uh, the new beginning in Osaka, the last one in uh, Japan, featuring pretty much everybody that was supposed to show up in the North uh, in uh, the North American shows because government bullshit. And I'm not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that anymore. We have covered that. Uh, but we're coming this. Uh, they're the new beginning in Osaka. They're gonna be at the Osaka Prefectural. Jim in Osaka, uh, the Adiano Arena, apparently. Uh, matches are as follows. Uh, Six-man tag, uh, Jushin Thunder Liger, Satoshi, Satoshi Kojima, and Hiroshi Tenzan taking on Takami Shinoku, Takashi Izuka, and uh, Minoru No Witnesses Suzuki. Yeah, Suzuki's going to choke somebody out. Yeah, probably one of the young lions, though. <laughs> don't, don't don't deny it. You know you you know they're thinking about it. Uh, tag next what? Uh, next one it'll be Sonata and the uh, and the King of Darkness Evil taking on uh, Ayato Yoshida and uh, Shota Umino. Young lions are going to get stretched and, and piled ribbon or DDT. Uh, next up, Shingo Takagi taking on Bush. Oh no, with. Bushi and Tetsuya Naito will take on El Desperado, Tai Chi, and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Uh, this is pretty much the, 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 hey, let's just beat the crap out of each other some more before we have to end this tour match. Uh, Yoshihashi, as we mentioned before, he'll be tagging with Tomoaki Honma. Uh, they're taking on Chase Owens and Yujiro Takahashi. 
At first I thought you know, the Bullet Club was going to lose because Chase Owens is on their team, but the other team is Yoshihashi and Tomaki Hama, so they're definitely losing. Please let Owens have one a win. He he wants one. So I'm going to stay there. And let him, let him hit his finisher. Please. Uh, <laughs> Toriano and Toki Makabe will take on to- Tongaloa and Tama Tonga, G-O-D. Oh, God. <laughs> Toriano, Mr. Break All the Rules versus Tamataga, who's try, trying to rehab himself to be a good boy again. Hey, he's the good guy. Oh, God, this is going to be so fucking fun to watch. <laughs> it is. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, next up, Junior Heavyweight Championship. Ryusuke Taguchi will take on Taichi Ishimori. This has been a buildup uh, ever since New I, Year Dash, actually. I love the picture they chose for Taguchi. His foot, his rugby uniform. Good lord! Yeah, rugby uniform with the helmet. Fantastic. Oh, he didn't wear the outfit, uh, the whole uniform this past uh, for the New Beginning show. You look very serious. Uh, I think it's uh, serious. Uh, to Gucci, I said, okay, no fucking around here. Let's stretch some marks. Yeah, this is title match. He hasn't been junior heavyweight champion in quite some time. Yep. Yep. Uh, the semi-main will feature Kazuchika Okada taking on a bad luck Fale. Should be a decent match, and I uh, expect Okada to win just like uh, he beat Fale last year. Or is it the year before that he beat Fale? Yeah. It was, uh, it was, uh, yes. I know, the match did happen. And in the uh, main event of the evening, Jay White will take on Hiroshi Tanahashi for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Okay, this is going to be interesting because... This is the way they're seeming to build this up is like they're making it sound like they're thinking about putting the belt on Jay White at this show. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. That's what's really intriguing me is the fact that this is, I don't know. This is smelling like what they did with Okada all these years ago. Yeah, where you take somebody who is, you know, maybe still green in some places, you put the belt on them, and then just sort of build the company around them. This is one of those, I'm like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it, it was Minoru Suzuki who uh, just last year in an interview said that when you want to put someone is to be your main eventer, you make them your main eventer when they're in their 20s. So that way, by the time they're in their 30s, they've already got it. They know what to do in that position. They're good. I believe he said something along those lines. It's uh, it happened with Okada. In all fairness, it happened with Okada. But now, with all this attention, all this foreign attention, and with the backlash, and there was some backlash because of the talent they having to be pulled out because of visa issues. This is nothing. In the, this is everything that I was out of. The, anything that could not be have been controlled by New Japan has pretty much bit them in their ass. By simply by virtue of the world fucking happening. I'm like, if this it had the shutdown, if the government shutdown not happened, I'd be like, you know what? Let's test the waters, put the belt on Jay White. But now with all the all, all the bad news coming this way. Well, here's the thing, Jay White isn't American, so they don't have to worry about that. True, but at the same time, there are gonna be some people, there's gonna be some backlash, whether we whether we like it or not. Oh, yeah, there's obviously going to be backlash if Jay White won, would win because, you know, he's somebody who is not even nearly tested to be a main eventer. But, you know, sometimes you got to take a chance. And, you know, I don't know. Like, Tanashi would be a safe pick. Jay White would be the crazy, let's try something completely different sort of pick. Yeah. And I've always been one to at least try something new. I've always been of that mind where, you know what? Let's actually try it. Let's give it a run for a few months. Let's see how it goes. If it goes poorly, you can just put the belts back on somebody else and then never speak of this again. It's a strategy that's happened in WWE. Jinder Mahal is the perfect example of that. There are precedents. Also, also Greg Colley. Greg Colley. Uh, who else? Um... Uh... I'm trying to think who else. Do, 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 do. Ron Garvin? Rubbish, Ronnie Garbage. They had to put the belt on somebody for, for Ric Flair to chase. Yep. It's, it's an, uh, it's, yeah. There are examples of this, is what we're trying to say. Yeah, like, there are examples where, you know, you, you, you try something new, and if it doesn't work, you know, at least you tried, and... 
you can just, you know, move on. So yeah. if Jay White is not a great champion, turns out, then, you know, you can just put the belt back on Tanahashi or put it on Naito because, you know, Naito currently has that sort of gimmick where he wants to be the first ever person to be Intercontinental and Heavyweight Champion at the same time. It could happen. So there's always that. We shall see. We shall definitely see. Well, yep, we this, don't know. This, this show happens Monday, so if you're like me, when you wake up Monday morning, you'll have some great wrestling to watch. And you'll you'll be you will see the news, and uh, they uh, will either be uh, will be okay. Was it a good match or jaws on the floor? I'm not going to look at the news. I'm just going to go straight. Well, you're going to watch out. them, but for those people who, who watch this, who just watch the results or look, or look at the results first, there will be jaws on the floor. Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? Who, who knows? Let's hear some winners and losers, bud. Uh, my only loser this week is, let's see, um, I'll give it to WWE for not having our truth on SmackDown, even though he's the United States champion. Stop. Just keep stop Feature doing your mid-card belt fuckers. Especially considering the fact that just earlier this week, Rusev did an interview where he was talking about how WWE likes to forget about the U.S. title, and it kind of feels like it is since R Truth wasn't on the show. Like, like, I know he's trying to. They might be trying to th do the thing where he's selling the beatdown, but they can still have him do that and be on the show at the same time. Just saying, WWE for pretty much the same reason. It's like if you're going to do something that that's shock that for shock value, put the man back on TV for fuck's sake. Like, I know I don't want to see him, but generally speaking, you want the man with the belt to be on TV a little while, even if it's just for a promo. And I do believe that R-Truth could have a good run with the U.S. title. Anybody can. There's that potential. That's the thing. And the NFL, because it got its ass kicked by WWE and us in the entertainment department. I'm almost certain that a gerbil running on a wheel would be more entertaining. I got a win over the NFL. I I I I beat the Super Bowl. <laughs> I beat the Super Bowl. Oh, very true. Evil Ravu says not only do they seem to forget the U.S. title, they tend to forget the title holder. Shinsuke Nakamura, anybody? I feel bad for the motherfucker. He got a bum run. Yeah, to say the least. Let's do some winners, my friend. I'm going to my winners. Uh, let's see, too. I'm going to give it to AEW for having one hell of a press conference. <laughs> that goes without saying. Uh, for me, Kenny Omega and AEW, great presser, despite the hiccups. And there were there were a few. There were a few cringe moments, but it was fun. And uh, the potential on the match announcements, oh, good Lord, this is going to be fun. It'll be fun for me to watch uh, after the fact because I'll probably be at the reception, but. You know, I will. I will be watching it. Uh, you know, on tape delay. I guess you could call it. <laughs> uh, Becky Lynch, because even uh, it, good lord, that it, that's all I'm gonna say. Just good lord, and OSW review for uh, getting that uh, for getting that uh, getting that uh, credit on that movie there. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, uh, in case you don't know what's going on, they reviewed the Marine Six. Uh, Close Quarters, which featured The Miz, Shawn Michaels, and Becky Lynch uh, in the movie, and they were on set for some of the for for uh, the, for, during the filming. They were there for a day and for uh, for an afternoon, and they reviewed the movie that they were talking about, and they met, they were in the credit they're credited in the in the movie at the, in the special thanks to department. Very last bit, JV1 and OOC from OSW Review. There you go. That being said, uh, you got your life in Strange Let's Play, which is yep, actually pretty good. Yep, thank you very much. I have that going on. I have a new video that will be going public tomorrow. Yay, yay, yay. Those of you who on social media knows exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Uh, as far as uh, I end, I'm gonna I stop doing the the weekly shows. I mean, at this point, no one's watching them. Like the last episode, the second episode only got like five views on YouTube. First one had fifty. Wow, that's that's a drop off. Yeah, I might do like a monthly deal, but I'm like I I, I enjoy not having to set shit up. <laughs> But I do have that. I do have a backup channel just in case uh, this uh, particular channel channel goes tits up. We have to use another channel for stuff and things. So the bonus is I got a channel to to plug to do my shit in now. That's awesome. And a special thanks to Speed Gaming and the Super Mario Brothers uh, Three Randomizer Community did a few races uh, this week and uh, treating me like gold as always. They're always awesome and uh, a couple of great races. Though the second one we did today that. They, we got bitten by the bad seed curse. Uh, the One of them at the forfeit after, after almost uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah. It was a rough seed. I'd even like the, for the winner was so nervous because he thought he was behind. Everyone else, was, he, he finished in like 46 minutes. The other two had uh, finished uh, uh, just after an hour. That should, right off the bat, that's how bad of a seed they got. How about of a randomized ROM, I guess you could say. But a big thank you, and I will be doing some more. I'm not exactly tweeting about it, because I'm like, I am like I forget to tweet about it, but uh, the races are going on the, on Speed Gaming and Randomania, so if you want to check them out, they're on. Uh, they're mostly on Speed Gaming 2 and 4 this week, and all that good stuff. They're on Twitch, so if, if, if you see Mario 3 Randomizer, go watch it. You may hear my voice. <laughs> Uh, but that'll do it on my end. Of course, before we do anything else, uh, of course, TWK's Patreon, patreon.com slash Reviews. Of course, my tip jar, paypal.me slash metaj316. Uh, links to t-shirts, all, gets, uh, all that good stuff. The schedule is in there. Uh, exclamation point schedule in the chat room for you, sir. I just imagine a jar of Mar of Mayo versus the Super Bowl. Remember that uh, Rocco's Modern Life episode? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, there it is. And the link is in the chat for you folks who want to check out our schedule for all that good stuff. And, uh, of course, follow us on Twitter, uh, TWK, at TWK Official on Twitter, on uh, on Instagram, and for me on Instagram and, t and Twitter, at j 316 on both cases. That's going to do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you very much for tuning in. Next week, more news. Or things we might be doing the preview to uh, Elimination Chamber next week because I think in a couple of weeks I'm going to see some independent professional wrestling. Just saying. Well, that being said, on behalf of TWK, until next time, this is TWK of TWK Reviews telling you to work your game. Hey, good night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manny J, reminding you to help professional wrestling support your independent promotion as soon as possible. We shall talk to you next week, folks. Have a good one. Have a safe one. Talk to your dad, especially if you're if you're one of the wintry stuff. It's slippery out there. It's very windy up here in Ottawa. If you're if you're if you're, if you're up uh, up in my neck of the woods, please be careful. We'll talk to you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, See you in Vegas, cowboy. I um, it's really nice of uh, Park to send in that old tape. Uh, too bad he couldn't be here tonight. He's doing what he does best, sitting at home. <laughs> <laughs>